Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem seven in chapter nine. In this chapter, we will talk about the linear momentum. So first one, the mass of the the total mass of the rocket is given. Agree? It is zero. And they tell us this uh, rocket travels with a velocity one one five meter per second. So this one, we it, we think it travels up. This one. And then to change its courses by 35 degree, so its rocket can be fired briefly in a direction perpendicular to its orange motion. So what I mean? So the velocity added is this one, right? So this is a final velocity. And this is a velocity added because we want to make the final velocity with an angle 35 degree with the orange Velocity. This is a sentence tell us. Agree? So from this sentence, we can draw this triangle. This is origin velocity. And then finally, the velocity should make an angle 35 degree with the initial velocity. And this velocity also, the added ve ve velocity is just as a perpendicular to the origin velocity. This one. And then tell us the rocket gas, gas. The gas's velocity is given. Ask you how much mass must. Uh, be just uh, dropped. So how can you do that? So first of all, we can consider this is an addition for the vectors. Do you agree? So of course, the v origin plus v added equal to v final. So in this way, we can find the v added. The velocity added is just a v origin times tangent theta. And you can see v origin is given 115 meter per second theta, 35 degree. Easy. Agree? And then the next one, we need to find how much mass the gas mass is. So that means at this point, the rocket is there. And then some part of the rocket moves forward. Some part is moves backward. And this part is called gas because the rocket will push the back, push the gas back. So this, this uh, blue thing is just as a gas moves backward. And this part, you can see the rocket is in the space. On the horizontal, is there any force acting on it? No, because we can see no force acting on it. What does that mean? Because we know the change of the momentum equals to the net force times the T. You can see the force is zero because no net force acting on it. So that means the momentum is conserved. Agree? Yes. So the momentum is conserved. So that means initially at the Vertical at the horizontal component, the momentum is zero because no force acting it. Initial level only has the velocity at the origin, right? So in the horizontal direction, it's zero. And also, finally, the rocket just uh, uh, expel some gas out. So that means this uh, rocket just like separate in two parts. One part is called mass gas times velocity gas, agree? This is a momentum from the gas. And also the last, the rest part is the mass minus the mass of gas. This is the rest part of the rocket times the velocity added. This is, uh, this part is momentum, agree? And so the addition for this momentum should equal to zero. And you can see zero. The mass of the gas is given. Is that a given? No, we need to find it. Now, what is the velocity for the gas? It is 1750 meter per second, agree? But please pay attention. Because this gas is pulled out by the rocket, so we give it a negative side, moving to the negative x direction, agree? And then the velocity added is given. It is origin times tangent theta. So in this one, we can solve this equation, get the final answer about the mass of the gas. Thank you.